It's Friday shows. First one for 2024. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Deb from Sewing Seams with Deb. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the make that I'm doing and the finished object of my knitting and what else I've been up to. I finished the socks, yay! So these have been blocked now. So these are the, the blocking um, thingies. I don't know what they're called. Um, and um, so the socks are now blocked. So they um, turned out beautiful. And when, when the garments are blocked, they just, they turn out very, very professional. And um, so I've finished those. They never turned out like a duplication of each other. The colouring is very different. Um, but I'm very happy with that. That is the Bendigo wool, Bendigo woolen store um, and their sock yarn. It's kind of a self-stripe. Well, it's not really self-striping, but it's um, variegated. It's variegated wool. There is a little bit left. Um, so these are beautiful. I can't wait to wear them. And they're going to be, well, I can't wear them right now because they're really quite long. Um, so, yeah, they're going to go halfway up my calf. So they're going to be great under boots in the winter. And so, yeah, I've finally um, unpicked the one side like I promised I was going to. And I've got them beautifully matching with the length. And the size so I'm very happy about that. that's just a, a very simple sock pattern that I've come across and it's got no design on it no patterning or anything it's just stocking stitch all the way so knit 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 around around and um, yeah so I'm very happy with those they turned out really divine and finally I've got a pair I mean I had one pair from last year blue pair which I showed you um, and now I've got a second pair. So how good. So my, um, I've, I've, had, I've had some problems with my phone. And I do my videoing with my phone. And even the editing and everything with the phone. Um, so I've got the, my, my phone, my Samsung, in the uh, repair shop. And they're trying to find out what's wrong with it. Um, meanwhile, I've dragged out an old phone, which is a, a great phone. It's just that it uh, runs out of battery really quickly. And so this video is um, I, the first one I've made on this old phone. Uh, so if the quality is different or the sound's different or anything, <laughs> we can put it down to this old clunker of a phone. Uh, hopefully it'll work. And um, if it doesn't and the video is too bad, um, I'll pull the video back down again. I won't leave it up too long just to say hi. So um, <laughs> my apologies in advance. I'm just going to do a twirl in to show you the dress I'm wearing. Um, I made it years ago, probably about 2018. Um, it's it's. A beautiful skirt it's gourd a gourd skirt one two three so six gores or panels uh, I put the pockets in myself that wasn't part of it um, sorry I'll just show you the whole thing and um, sleeveless it's a bit of a combination and it comes from the Gertie's ultimate dress book which this is a fabulous book uh, it's got so many patterns in it so Gertie's Ultimate Dress Book. And uh, it's one of those uh, pattern books where you mix and match the, the styles. So that's not this skirt. That's a different skirt that I um, have since made. But I've, um, usually me, I put lots of tags in there. So there's um, a variety of dresses. I might have shown you some of these. Maybe not. Um some gorgeous old pictures so all the different dresses and it tells you how to do all your it goes through all sewing tips and how to do fitting and I've got all my high bust and all the measurements there from then it's probably changed since then 
Uh, then it goes into the patterns. Uh, that's one of them. Secretary dress. And the bodice can mix with any uh, skirt. That's the idea. Here's another one. The faux sarong dress. Gertie looks very different nowadays. She's um, got a different style about her. Here's the blue floral sailor dress. So now I'm trying to remember as I'm flicking through here which pattern I use because this has got princess seams, this dress. There's another style which has got a lace over the top. She's called it the wedding dress. So um, the book itself has got all the different maps of the different patterns, how to lay it out. It's a great book. Had it for years, clearly. I usually write in the front what year I brought it. I bought it. So I'll just check. No? Ah, there. 2017 I bought purchased the book. And it's got all those patterns in the back. All the patterns are in the back. Folded AO sizes and colour coded. Oh, actually, they're not colour coded. They're dotted and striped and um, dashes. So uh, the size that I made was size 14. And um, and then I still had to adjust it. Most so, most patterns I still have to adjust, regardless of what size I make, because I don't seem to be a standard any size. Um, but that's pretty normal, I think, um, and common. So you know, shoulders might be a different sort of width, or the bust up here might fit, but the bust part doesn't fit. So I've got to adjust that part. Of course, my waist is bigger according to the rest of my body how how these patterns are all drafted my waist is smaller or bigger sorry than um in proportion so i'm more or less straight up and down so i always have to adjust the waist and go up at least one size and then i come back down again because my hips aren't very um proportionally the same size as my waist they're more to do with anyway whatever <laughs> so i'm more straight up and down if that makes sense um, anyway, this dress is great for the really hot summer days because it's um, see a sucker and wash and wear. No petticoat required because it's uh, not see-through and it's um, cotton, so it doesn't stick. It's gorgeous. So, but I um, I remember when I made this, I put a blind hem on it, used blind hemmer on the um, machine, and because the fabric's quite busy you can't really see it anyway which is good um i don't know if i'll be able to demonstrate it without revealing everything so i don't know if you can see that on the correct side might be blurry sorry if it is you see that so thanks for watching um i wish you a happy week i hope you get some sewing in or knitting or crafting, or fancy work, or whatever you're into, or even just watching telly, or the tennis. The tennis is Australian Open's about to start. Yay, how exciting for those that are into it. Uh, a very special thank you to those people that made um, the effort to think about what their one word might be for this year. So we've had lots of different ideas of um, what people might take on as their word. Um, and thank you for sharing those in the comments. Um, and so I will leave you with that. And I'm very grateful for you and grateful for you to, for that, that you're watching me. And I shall see you next time. So until I do, take care, stay well and happy sewing. Bye.